Hello everyone, and thank you for indulging us as we share Kumba's performance for 2017. Kumba achieved an impressive performance and exceeded all its targets and KPIs. To coin a poker phrase, a royal flush set of results, particularly when you look at our underlying performance. I'm really pleased that we have managed to both embed and build on our operational improvements. We have continued to make good progress on operational efficiencies, which resulted in a strong set of financial results. Let me outline the highlights. Firstly, as safety is at the heart of everything we do, I am particularly proud that we were fatality free in 2017. This was directly attributed to our elimination of fatalities program, focused on embedding a culture of zero harm and ensuring safe working practices by all our employees and contractors. On our operations, both Sishin and Colomela exceeded operational guidance, resulting in a total production increase of 8% to 45 million tons. Sishin production was up 10% to just over 31 million tons, while Colomela production increased by 9% to 13.9 million tons. Total waste performance yielded a 16% increase to just over 217 million tons, with Sishin achieving 161.7 million tons, and Colomela achieving 55.6 million tons. On the financial front, we delivered an EBITDA of 19.6 billion rand, an increase of 6%. Attributable free cash flow was up 10% to 12.3 billion rand, reflecting stronger operational performance, disciplined cost management, and ongoing capital discipline and extracting full value for our differentiated quality products. This led to headline earnings per share increasing 12% to 30.47 rand per share, mainly due to the increase in realized price and higher sales volume. It is pleasing to note that we achieved our EBITDA because of the factors that we control, as opposed to the reliance on the non-controllables. While non-controllable factors had an insignificant effect on EBITDA, our operational performance over which we have control was the biggest driver of profit growth at 7%. We are happy to report that the board declared a final dividend of 15 rand per share well ahead of growth in headline earnings per share. This will result in a full year dividend of 30 rand and 97 cents per share. On the capex front, capital expenditure of 3.1 billion rand was 29% higher, supporting increased production. On the logistics sales and marketing front, despite severe wet weather disruptions in the first half and two derailments in the second half, Kumba's higher production led to a 6% increase in volumes railed to Saldana to 42 million tons. Transnet performed well during the year and we continue to have fruitful discussions with them to optimize rail capacity and shipping schedules to improve our export volumes. We exported 41.6 million tons, 7% more than 2016. Total sales volumes grew by 6% to 45 million tons, with China accounting for 63%, and the EU, MENA, and Americas region increased to 18% as we further diversified our customer portfolio in the region. We continued to outperform our peers on realized price by an average of $14 per ton through 2017. 
And that's despite the fact that three of our main competitors are much closer to China than we are. Kumba's average real price was $71 a ton, despite higher freight rates on the Saldana to Shingdao route increasing to $12 per ton. We earned a $3 per ton FE premium and an additional $2 per ton premium because of better demand for high-grade ores and growth of our sales outside China. Our sales into Europe and the Middle East have nearly doubled from a couple of years ago. Kumba's products are of premium quality and demand for high-grade products continues to be very strong. And we believe this shift towards higher quality ores is structural and should support product premium in future. Because of our improved productivity, we were able to have the flexibility to maximize on the developments in the market. Now, on to guidance. In 2018, Cision should produce between 30 and 31 million tons, with 170 to 180 million tons of waste. Columella production will be around 14 million tons and waste between 55 and 57 million tons. Our CapEx guidance for 2018 is between 3.9 and 4.1 billion rand. On strategy, key for us going forward is the elimination of fatalities, improving our margins, and life of mine extension. The improved foundation that we have established in 2017 certainly improves our position. But we now need to make a paradigm shift in our approach to working hard, both operationally, commercially, and strategically, to remain competitive and sustainable. We have therefore embarked on a journey to transform the business to ensure it achieves its full potential for long-term sustainability. Our transformation agenda is based on three strategic horizons. Horizon one is about driving our operations to unlock their full potential. And we believe we can achieve this through improving the performance of our current assets. Horizon two is about investing to grow our core business over the medium term, developing new technologies to process lower grade material and extend the life of our mines. Horizon 3 is about the longer term considerations of broader strategic options, which include the potential for some beneficiation excision, further exploration in the Northern Cape, and opportunities beyond the existing asset base. On the clear proviso, that they are value accretive and fit well with Kumba's skills, resource, and asset base. These opportunities are likely to be encountered on an ad hoc basis and will thus be addressed if, as, and when they arise. In conclusion, 2017 has been an awesome year as we achieved excellent results across the board. And we are not resting on our laurels and standing still. Instead, we are working hard to strategically position Kumba for the long-term sustainability and maximizing returns for our stakeholders. Thank you for your attention.